The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are in Paris tonight. Charlie Daggett tells us this royal visit to the City of Light is especially personal for Prince William. They're here as goodwill ambassadors, and first stop was straight to the top to meet French President Francois Hollande. <laughs> Britain dispatched its most charismatic couple to shore up ties between the two countries as Britain prepares to leave Europe. The depth of our friendship and the breadth of our cooperation will not change. Royal correspondent Roy Nika says it's part of a royal charm offensive. This is part of a big strategy by the government to send members of the royal family abroad to Europe and make nice as we're going into these negotiations. But this two-day tour also has a deeply personal significance for William. It's his first official visit to Paris since the death of his mother, Princess Diana. In August 1997, Diana died when her driver, Henri Paul, tried to outrun the paparazzi who constantly followed her, losing control of the car and slamming into this underpass. William was 15 at the time. Years later, he admitted he still thinks about her every day. Memories of Princess Diana are hard to avoid, especially here above the tunnel where the accident took place. We're nearly 20 years on. People are still leaving photos and flowers in tribute. Tomorrow, the royal couple meets with survivors of recent terror attacks in France. The prince who knows firsthand the heartache and suffering when a loved one is suddenly taken away. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, Paris.